a little bit cloudy. of today has no uh, specific uh, idea. I will ride uh, step by step. Today I'm riding with Mirko. Hi guys. It's hard to ride to stay close to Milio when uh, <laughs> he's climbing. I was talking to Mirko and uh, I was saying that uh, I admire some Vloggers. of Italian vloggers. Especially, I think the right name is Luca Loro. I will check it out. I will yeah. check it out. This morning we are planning to head to Garda Lake, but at the end, uh, Miglio cannot Can stand stay it. far from Mountain. mountains and hills. <laughs> so we are in the wonderful Valpolicella, heading to Fosse. Which are your plans for this uh, year in terms of cycling? Which is your main my goal? Goal, yeah. My goal, or better say, my dream, <laughs> is to take part at the Liege Baston Liege. It depends if uh, it will be possible to organize the event. Have you have you ever attended a, a race like that or similar? I've never done the Liege Baston Liege, but the Hamster Gold race. Wow, how long is it? What? The, the race, the Hamster Gold the race. I remember, I think uh, 270 ah. kilometers more or less. Ah. I don't remember exactly. I was a bit confused at the end of the race. <laughs> I don't remember the right number of the kilometers. Time to say hello to Mirko. Ciao guys, I need to go home because there is carbonara waiting for me at my mom's place. Mirko has got to go to home because uh, he is the king, but Eleonora is the queen. Yeah, she wears the pants at home. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. This morning I was heading to Peri to do the Perifosse, but uh, fortunately I met uh, Mirko and now. I know that uh, Perifosse is closed. Now here from Fosse, you can take this way to the Corno d'Aquilio. Let's go. Maybe today I'm suffering for the humidity. Never give up. Today, it's a bit foggy and that's a pity because over my shoulder there is Verona and on the, the other side there is uh, Monte Baldo and over there usually you can see the lake but not today the middle section of this climb is uh, half in tarmac and uh, half in gravel but uh, at the end uh, we will be again uh, on tarmac I love the gravel sound sounds epic when I ride this road uh, I always think uh, Kopi and Bart that is era The only difference is that they didn't have uh, the 36 in the front and the 30 in the back. They were monsters. The problem of riding 
with a road bike on a gravel sector is that uh, you cannot stand up on your pedals you have to stay seat on your saddle push down and try to keep the grip as Pirelli said power is nothing without control as always Magic Lessinia From there you come uh, when you do this Drusina, one of the toughest climb uh, near Verona. I love it, but uh, I hate it at the same time. I usually do it uh, once a year. This is the road that connects uh, Passo Fittanza with uh, Vivo del Pidocchio. This is Vivio del Pidocchio and now an epic downhill. Enjoy your meal. This is the downhill from Velo to Seva di Progno. It's a nice segment. This last climb starts uh, in a very tough way, but uh, I hate the flat road, especially when it's uh, windy, so I prefer to make another climb. After five hours and a half, uh, I'm approaching the last climb, that is Postuman. 2,500 meters of climb is the best result of the season so far. Not finished, but almost done. After six hours on the saddle, I can say that I'm happy. Now. I have just a few kilometers in downhill. Okay guys, thank you for watching this video. Remember to subscribe and uh, if you want, uh, you can point out my English mistakes. See you guys, bye bye.